Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today is the redemption episode. Today is where the tea gets spilled, piping hot. We've got Paige on. Go on, Paige. Say hello. All right, love. Oh, yeah. (laughs) She's on. So, people that don't know, you were on Love Island, weren't you? I was on Love Island, yeah. You came and you conquered Love Island. I did not conquer Love Island. (laughs) Okay, well, at least you made a name for yourself, so it's fine. I tried. I tried my best. And you were one of the uh, people that actually applied. I was. I I I did apply. So, basically, my thought process was... I'm ready for it. It's bad. It's petty next level, but you know we've oh, all been there. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say how it is. Mm. My partner at the time, yep. he left me. Fuck like, him. January. We were engaged. Traumatic experience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you know. Okay, no, fine. I didn't know you were engaged. And he he did it over text whilst I was in work. Oh. I'm in the back of the ambulance. And I get a text. Oh my like, god, sorry, I'm I forgot leaving. you worked in the ambulance. I was like, why were you in the back of it? Was yeah. that stressful? Oh, yeah. yeah, like I didn't need the ambulance, like the patient did. Yeah, in the fine. back of the ambulance, I get a text, he's like, I'm breaking up and I'm leaving. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I've got 12 hours left, hun. Yeah, thank you. This is fabulous. (laughs) Um, Anyway, that happened. Got home and he's like there with his bags, like ready to leave. Leaves me. I'm heartbroken. You know, all this. Thought he was the one. Yeah. Sick. He was not. Disgusting. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, saw him that he was on like Tinder within like a week. And I was like, going to the worst breakup of my life. It wasn't even that bad, honestly, because looking back, there was no love there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just thought, well, if you're going to be on Tinder, yeah. then I'm going to be on your TV screen for the whole of summer. You, the best revenge in a <laughs> bikini as well. And I was like, you can do Tinder. I'll do Love Island. As like. you should. I'll do me, babe. Love that. <laughs> and then you went on. What was your, right, biggest high, biggest low on the show? Oh, okay. My biggest high on the show... <laughs> probably <laughs> was leaving Look, looking back now there was none there was none <laughs> <laughs> yeah looking back now it was a whole damn waste <laughs> but <laughs> no my biggest high probably making the friendships that I have yep. with the girls and definitely a brunch date do you know the baby date and the Cute. girls went out yeah loved it I had the time of my life I'm my mother Love <laughs> literally that. I was having my cheese balls <laughs> wow yeah so I'm so love sophisticated that. Uh, that was yeah that was my high is that yep. sad that was my high no that would be me if there was cheese involved <laughs> that would be 100% my high so fine love that oh so yeah that was my high yeah cool experience and then my low probably probably the recoupling yeah no fair enough we're not going to talk about that yep, that was tragic yep. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um probably my recoupling mm-hmm. and my other low was probably like the first week where I had like Nobody that I was really gelling with. Really? Guys, yeah, the guys just weren't feeling it. Oh, so. right. I mean, to be fair, though, the selection in there, they're good looking, but sometimes they're just not, they're not just what you not want. for me. And I feel like you probably didn't even know what you want. You just come out of a, an engagement, for fuck's sake. You don't even know what other men are. <laughs> I Yeah, I yeah. just was still in my mindset of like, I hate all men. Yeah, well, so. now we're back to it. <laughs> So no, I'm straight that's back great. To that. Yeah, it's like a full circle. <laughs> Have you watched it since coming out? No, I haven't watched it, but right. I get tagged in like loads of clips all <laughs> of the time. And every time I see my face, I'm like, why do I look like a bowling ball Felt on that. TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone says they got done really dirty every time on Love Island. They're like, oh, so I don't look dirty. like that. Yeah, so dirty. It's hell. But <laughs> so you haven't watched it, although you've been tagged in most of it. Yeah, because been tagged in a lot. People on you get stick on social media. You actually do, but I do have to say, um, I think it is the way they edit it because some people have come out. And the way they are is completely different to how, even you, I feel like it's completely different to how you're perceived on screen. Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> like, 100%. I think at first I was apparently, like, portrayed to be this, like, really sweet, innocent, yeah, yeah. pitiful page. Like, she's heartbroken, yeah. all this, she's going to get a feel to it. And then towards the end, I was, like, portrayed as, like, this mean girl that, like, didn't care. And honestly, I'm just a dead mix down the line of both. Yeah. So I'm not one or the other. I'm just a little bit of both. You're in the middle. I'm in the middle, babe. Best of both worlds. Jax. So started off with him. You were having a great time. Maybe too good of a time. That's a lie. You weren't. But, you know, <laughs> you're, having, you're having a fine time. Casser Moore. Come back. His head's all scrambled because he fucked you over, even though he said he didn't fuck you over. <laughs> it was all stress. Then he leaves. 
Now, I don't how know. How dare he? Just how leave me like dare that. dare he leave you in the loop? The loop? The lurch. Don't know what it is, but he left you there. Boom in. Fuck him. <laughs> so, I don't know. You, well, you didn't see what was going on on Twitter, all the no. rumors. So, I'm going to give you a list of the rumors, right? All right. Because I've still not watched any of this back, have this you, right. stuff. So, well, we so. didn't really... Okay, well, let me explain to you how he came across. Right. He came across on the thing to be quite, like, controlling, like, mm-hmm. very angry, very aggressive, <laughs> um, whatever. Then when he left, people were saying it's because he threatened you and Adam. Um, it's just because he got so angry. Was that the case or no? <laughs> What, Jack's leaving because he got angry about me and Adam? Well, apparently he threatened you. <laughs> threatened me? <laughs> you, he could oh not. God. Could you imagine if Jack threatened me, he wouldn't be left standing? Love that. Like, baby, no. <laughs> like, baby, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, he was just needing some time out to himself Fine. to focus on him. Were you worried about the backlash when you got with Adam after Jack's left? Do you know what? I actually, I got to the point where I just didn't care anymore in there. So I was just like, yeah. it is what it is. Mm. So, no, I wasn't. But at the same time, like, Jack's doing me over the way he did. Like, obviously, it hurt. Not gonna lie, I'm big, I'm brave, and I'm strong. Yeah. It did me over a little bit. So I was in a bit of a mood where I was like, fuck it all. Fuck him, yeah. Fuck it all. Don't really care about anything or anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what else am I meant to do when I'm in Love Island? Apart like, from talk to people. Apart from talk to people. Well, do you know what I mean? This is what I say. You know when people, their partners leave and they're like, I love them. And then they're like, but I'll stay. Well, yeah. Uh, but I'll stay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes I just feel like you made it pretty clear, look, I'm going to get to know Adam as well. Like, obviously you're not going to leave with him. And then people were kind of shocked that you got with Adam. Well, Jack's left me in there. Who else do you want to me to get with? Defend for yourself. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you, are you going to do? Break up another couple? Like, not today. <laughs> no way. Maybe not next was... <laughs> week, but not today. <laughs> not today. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do you think there's a chance that you would get back with Jack's? There has been slight contact, right? Yeah, but no contact of the lips. Oh my god! No okay, contact fine. I just of wanted the lips. to make like, sure. Come on, let's not forget let's how this boy done me in Casa, yeah? Yeah, very good point. No, very good point. you don't get this again. <laughs> Listen, but sometimes if the moons move at the same time and you're both there at the same time, who knows what's going to happen? I don't know what analogy that was, by the way, <laughs> but I thought that made sense in my head. Um, so, I'm yeah. not quite sure how much it made sense, okay. but I get your vibe. Like, yeah. Obviously, we had a, vibe had a vibe in there. Yeah. You done me over, dickhead. Mm-hmm. Fine. Yep. But we're just going to see where things go. I am in zero rush yep. to be with any other men in my life because men are trash. It's time to be single. Just want to be It's time to I swing from the rafters. <laughs> I saw you at a show the other day doing a little... No, stop little it now. sexy dance. Stop. Do you know what that was? And I'm going to clear this up right now. Clear it. When I was dancing like <clears throat> trash on that stage... Be. Okay, I was trash. Yep. Um, that. I played odds on with Andrew. Uh, My odds were between one Andrew, and three. As in Tasha and Andrew. Yeah. Andrew. Right. Love that. We were all there having a laugh, having a drink, whatever. We were like, play odds on. My odds were between one and three. I was ne- and he said you were set up for failure. I was set up for failure. So a girl had to do what she had to do. Yeah. Yep. I didn't do it because I wanted to. Well, it's time to address the rumors. Today's sponsor of the podcast is one that is very close to my heart and I would die if I didn't have it. Literally, it's Wine 52. Wine 52 are offering all Saving Grace listeners three bottles of wine for just 10 quid. Bargain. So that's just over three pound for bottle. You wouldn't even get that in a petrol station. You can drink it or you can give it as a gift. All the wines are either red or white and you also get two tasty snacks. So fill your boots. So all you need to do is go to www.wine52.com forward slash grace to get free gorgeous wines delivered to you in the post. After your first box, you'll then join a monthly wine club, but there's no commitment. You can pause or cancel at any time. However, I wouldn't cancel mine because I need to drink. Again, if you want your first three bottles of wine for £10, all you have to do is go to www.wine52.com forward slash grace. That's me. Thank you. Well, it's time to address the rumours. Oh. You're single now. Yes, Can you baby. confirm you are single? I'm single, living my best life. Um, joking, it's been a really shit time. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been really upset. But... I'll be damned if any of you lot are going to know that for sure. (laughs) Oh, seriously. So the videos of the incident that occurred, 
Fuck McDonald's, first of all. Let me in there, right? Let me in there. <laughs> yeah. Let me, Let in, me there in there and see what happens. Yeah. So do you, did you know who that person was? No, not no. a clue. Not a clue. But she's come to light now. Did they know each other? No. At all? No. Because I read a statement that said person put... And they said that they were friends, you know. They're not friends. She did look 16 though, so I don't know. They're not friends. No. And um, do you know what? It's not just them videos. There are other videos which other people don't know about. So it's a lot more to oh, the Oh, of different people, the same person. Of different person. people of the same night in different what? locations. That's so bad. No, it is. Because I was sat there and I was like, at first like, nah, do you know what? It's just an arm. I get everyone's a little bit flirty. There's nothing to it. Fine. I'm in the club and a guy puts his arm around me. Is it cheating? No. no. And then these other videos come out, yeah? And I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Mm. I can't justify this. With other girls? Yeah, with other girls. Were there bedrooms involved? More like VIP toilets. Just <gasps> Yeah. Sorry, the gasps in the room. I heard that. We were just like, no, nah, that's... No, a... it's fine. But it's you know fine. what, though? Sometimes... Keep it classy, babe. Always. Yeah, well, apparently not. What I just <laughs> don't understand is, do you not think, okay, never cheat, should never do it, blah, blah. But if you were going to cheat, say... Make it worth it. Would you? And also, would oh. you not do it with someone whose phone's everywhere? Would you not? Would you not be secret about it? Oh, would you I not know. get an escort or something? There's well. an NDA there somewhere. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, did you see the videos the same time as we all did, or you saw them before? No, I saw them the same time everybody oh, else did. Oh my god! And I was just like. Oh, okay. Because there was like <laughs> yeah. one and then like... Which is the one I think I saw, which was... It, was it in the club or in McDonald's? So the first one I saw was Mackey's. Right. Second one I saw was in the club and I was like, that great, love that. Mm -hmm. And then the other ones I have saw were sent to me personally in DMs. By them? No, by other people. Oh, fuck you know what? I tried to keep quiet on the situation because mm. like, I don't want to create any more drama. You're a better woman than me. <laughs> I would be on my Instagram story. <laughs> You have a tiny peanut. I'd be going <laughs> full ham, 100%. Oh, I mean, I would love to go full ham. Yeah. I would love to. But is it worth my energy? No. no. True. You've got to get it's over. You've got to move to move on now. Yeah. And do you know what it Fuck was, em. right? It's not like we had a great time. Yeah. We had a nice time. Mm. Did deep down, I always knew I was going to get done over. Yeah. Did I get collarded? <laughs> But you're, so I remember when you were, you know, when the parents came in and your mum came in and she oh was like, God. I'm not buying it. What did your mum say? Was she like, I told you so? Or was she like, I'm going to kill him? Oh, my mama said many of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's yeah. given me the whole mother's no best. And do you know what? Oh, I've been I just want to slam my head against the wall. That's yeah. the one thing I hate hearing from her is mother's no best. Yeah. And now she's got that one in the locker. She's got it. And that's she's going to use that every time. Oh, now. Yeah. 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 Every time. Now she's like you were never going out with another guy unless I meet them first. <laughs> like, you've got to bring them all end. home. You've met one at a mm. pub. This is Andrew. <laughs> don't know why I said Andrew, not Tasha and Andrew. Um no, that's seriously. mad. So she Never yeah. again. Never again. She's like, you're staying single for life. So you're fully done. There's no, you're not going to get back. Absolutely not. No. I mean, would you? Would no. you get back with something like that? No, I actually wouldn't. I'd like to think I wouldn't actually. They'd be buying me flowers and I'd be like, babe. <laughs> <gasps> really? No, it nearly got to that close. Yeah, yeah. It no, seriously. A couple of sweet enough and I was like, oh. No, you but you know what? Sometimes you believe the lies. I do. I fall for it every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> All I'm going to say is. Yeah. The videos speak for themselves. They do. The ones that everyone else has saw and the ones that maybe only I have seen, but they all speak. And we thought those ones were bad enough and we didn't even see half of them. Exactly. So good luck to any girl that dates that man next because <laughs> you're, I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> what are you going to do? So, but oh. you had quite a lot of backlash when he, when the man cheated on you with trolls because people, you got quite bad backlash full stop over Love Island over probably just I don't know just being Welsh don't know what the what the issue was <laughs> oh, I, mean, I think the way own. you were portrayed on Love Island made people have an image about you so when this whole cheating thing came up you got even more stick for it yeah it was like I was getting sick like you should have listened you shouldn't have done Jack's dirty but if we and all could have that advice we loads of Everyone has dated a man where someone's gone, don't date him, he'll cheat on you. We've dated them and they've cheated on us. I mean... So you could actually have that, you could have that for anything. Although, maybe you shouldn't have dated him. 
Well, what can you do? What can I do when he, we're the only ones in there? Listen, he was like six foot I mean? five. Do I blame you? No. No, I don't. Exactly, right? What would we all have done if we were in the villa? Probably the same thing. Trolling. How have you dealt with it? Um, I'm normally really good at just not even looking at the comments, just keeping it out. But some days, like, there are a lot. Like, they are really difficult to deal with sometimes. And I think people forget, like, I am human. I do have actual emotions. And I'm not used to all this, like, you know... It's like you had a normal life yeah, before this. Comf- I had a literally normal life before it. And, like, stuff they say can really affect and get to me, but... Do you know what? It just, I think it does just speak more about them um, than it does as me because I know I would never sit there and troll somebody else. Mm-hmm. So if people can sit there and troll, then maybe. And I feel like the most it. annoying part of it is like if I've ever been trolled or whatever, some people will say stuff and it's not true. And it's so frustrating to not be able to go, that's not true. Yeah. And it makes you look so bad, but you're like, you physically can't go back to everyone and say it's not true. No, I know. And I would love to sit there and just clap back at some of these people. I'm just like, I have not got the energy for it because it would just make me feel worse. Yeah. And that would only like give them more feel to the fire. Mm-hmm. And, oh. Some people you will just never please. And they are the people I don't need in my life anyway. So. Amen. And it's fine being back in your town and everything. Everyone's yeah, love good. it. I love being back in Swansea. Yeah. No, no, everything's going on. No, everyone there. It's just easy going. And yeah. You come to London, it's just hundred miles an hour. So, do you go to a lot of the events and see all your old islanders? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. So I go. I mainly like hang out with Antigone, Tash, Andrew, Danica. I see you dancing. Around Antigone. <laughs> I see you yes, dancing. I see. We see it, honey. They <laughs> like. I just love. I do love being them because they're the only ones that know what we're really going through and like right. how everything is on the outside mm-hmm. you know yeah and i can trust them with my life with my life so. well speaking of which the other day um there was an article that came out that a love islander confirmed that you and this man had broken up blah blah were you fine with other people talking about it or did you feel a bit like <sighs> it's one of those things it definitely came from a good place. Yeah. It didn't come from like anywhere bad at all. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I'm an, I'm the type of person that like, I won't speak on somebody else's situation. Mm-hmm. Like if it's not my area to speak about, but at the same time, I know their intentions. So like, it would have just been one of those things. You just wouldn't said have, it. Wouldn't, yeah, just it just came out. Fine. Want a minute. It's cool. I'm I mean, it is it. what it is. Everyone knows that we're not together. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. knows. This is but what I that. mean. <laughs> well, are you scared now that, are you scared to date someone in the public eye again? Do you think you'll go back, like date a normal person or if, when you are ready to date? Or do you think it scarred you from dating someone in the public eye? I will never date anyone with a blue tick ever again. Yeah, for, yeah, no. No, I actually, I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> like, absolutely not. If you've got a blue tick move on well please. the only good thing i have I to can't say do it. is if someone's famous you'll know when they've cheated on you right yeah that is the, the only good the only thing. good thing but then do you know what what i don't it's know can't hurt me. <laughs> yeah no i agree 100 percent. i agree me. and do you know what else i believe as well oops um <laughs> is that everyone is gonna disrespect you in one way or another yeah. everyone will cheat or do something really shitty don't say that <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, I'm just keeping it real. They will. Like, yeah, fine. it's too easy. It's too easy for everyone in to do what they want. In this day and age, yeah. Like, there is. Especially so. if they're famous. Everyone wants to say, I got with that person. Yes. Got exactly. with that person. I, I've been there, done that. Like, congrats. What do you want? A golden fucking star on So, what are you getting with people? Well, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> chlamydia's on the rise. I don't know what to say. There's a new. Have you heard about this monster chlamydia in Ibiza that can't be. I, I believe that it's in Ibiza. I believe. Dutty. What? Dutty. What do you mean, monster? It's like you, they can't get rid of this chlamydia with antibiotics. Like they've got no treatment for it because it's like a monster STI and it's like circulating in Ibiza. So all you, that's been Ibiza, yeah? Someone check Ocean Dutty. Beach, quick. Someone <laughs> actually clean the beds of Ocean Beach <laughs> and the water for extra Drain chlorine. That pool. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah. Drain that pool. Drain it. Drain that pool. Oh my God. Yeah. Love that. I'll do a Google later on. <laughs> you know, well, I'm not going to Ibiza anytime soon, so I'm safe. Absolutely not. Were you on the plane journey? Would you, did you go on a Spotify trip? No, I was did meant to. Did you hear to. about it? No. I was meant to, and thank fuck I Why? did not go. I first of all, I'm a bit scared of planes. Okay. I've already been on f- three flights this year. I thought, my anxiety, I'll have a heart attack. And thank God I didn't go. Why? Because that plane ride, you'd have to wheel me off. I'd have <laughs> been like, oh, we're going to crash. 
<laughs> we're gonna ask everyone's jumping up and down would you have liked that yeah i love stuff like that oh cool love you've been it. leading it i would have been yeah i would have been leading it Hunt like the horn if you want to see some teas <laughs> that's what you'd have been doing at the front i'd be like right <laughs> maybe <laughs> if i had not many drinks maybe <laughs> no Sorry. i'm i'm kind of jealous that we didn't go now i'm fuming i didn't we could have got a sun article out of it i could have got a blue tick <laughs> why haven't you got a blue tick Don't already know. they hate me somebody get a blue tick she deserves it you heard Paige she at the end it. of the day it's a hate crime now so <laughs> we're gonna move on to say it or show it Ooh, okay pace yourself recite your feezy right my first one is who is the fakest couple to come out of Love Island this year <laughs> oh my god right all I'm gonna say on this right Ooh. is yep. there are how many couples left three the, uh, right yeah three couples left mm -hmm. really there's only two. Oh, but that's a secret i'll never tell so, <laughs> we are hey, gonna shut cheers. this i'm scared right <laughs> i don't want to do it shit mm. tastes like a bake well kind of <coughs> if it was out of date <laughs> who had the biggest penis adam or jacks who do you, wait, who do you think? Can I confirm if you slept with both of them or not? Oh my God, no, did not see no. both. Okay, fine. So you Absolutely just saw not. one of the packages where you, yeah. fine. I just wanted to clear that one up. Um, well, I originally thought that it would be Adam with the biggest pain eye. <laughs> and do you know what? God bless him. Seriously, God bless him. <laughs> would you rather, knowing what you know now, yeah. have not done Love Island uh, or done Love Island? I would still do it, but I would go about it a whole different way. You would have. Yeah. What kind of different people or just different? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would have just played the game way more. You like just got me Ronan and Keaton's son. What a laugh, Jack. What yeah. a laugh. Jack, you probably would have had a better time in there anyway. <laughs> and you'd have come out from a guy from, what is it, Boy Zone or Westlife? I don't know. It's One of them. them. But life is a roller coaster. <laughs> just got to ride it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no, what was it that Ekin Sue said when he left? She went, babe, life's a roller coaster. <laughs> and I was like, gotta go. I actually I've love got it. Go. I actually love I it. I have got to go. <laughs> right. Next question. Is there anyone in the villa that you would have liked to have got with that you didn't? Absolutely not. Thank no. You for confirming that. No, thank you. People need to hear that. <laughs> 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 well. Shag, marry, pie. Ooh, okay. And these Give are all Love ones. Islanders, right? Oh, you've okay. Sorry. Deji, that's a good one. Mm. Jay and um, George. <laughs> right, Roll okay. Up. Um, I, and it's shag, marry, pie. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna shag George. Wow. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We're not He's actually going. straight in. We're like, yeah, babe. <laughs> we're, we're not. Sorry, you carry on. I just thought something. Go, go, go. <laughs> we're gonna shag George, marry Jay, lush guy, and Deji, my guy. <laughs> You're gonna get kissed and pie to the face, babe. Sorry I love you. That. It's all love. It's all love. Right. So it was shot. It. Have you been speaking to Billy? No. Why are people thinking? You this? were pap together. Because we were in the same event. Fuck, I really thought there was tea really? there. Really? Yeah, you because you were speaking. Because that's yeah. what humans do, to be fair. So I don't know why I thought that was any humans different. Humans are like, no, you don't. <laughs> would you shag Billy? No. How much money would it take you to shag <laughs> Billy? <laughs> Who's Billy shagged? Do you know what? It's not my tea to spill, so... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I put quite a lot in mine. Do I put quite a lot in yours? I don't want to... <sighs> <clears throat> mm. You better get answering some of these fucking questions. Right, okay. Ugh. Fuck. Right, I'm going to pour Goodness. it after the next one. Okay. Do you like Coco? Got nothing bad against her. I mean, she did come out and say those some shitty things about me, but it's fine. We've made up since then and there's no bad blood. Probably not to be bezies because I don't see her, but. No bezies, you know. no stress. Yeah. I just made that up on the spot. Someone put that on a t shirt. No that Bezzy. was actually quite good. No <laughs> Bezzy, no stress, whatever. <laughs> Is there anyone in there that you wanted to speak to but weren't allowed to speak to in the villa, by the way? Yeah, there was. Do you know, Jay came in mm. and was my type to a T and then wasn't allowed to speak to him for like a week. We just kept apart. Is that when he was speaking to Ekin? Yeah. 
And then that was also the time when I was getting to know Jax. Oh, oh, I didn't know that was a similar time. Yeah. So oh. like, Jax was coming like, what, two days before and mm -hmm. then Jay came in or whatever. And me and him weren't allowed to get to know. Like, you know how some shows come with that warning before it comes on? This show has been enhanced Tally purely for your entertainment. Yeah. It, it should probably come with that warning, I'll be honest. Ooh. Because, yeah. So people kind of could be like the villain, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But kind of told to be. Yeah. Nice. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's not, it's TV at the end of the day. Like, right. it is not as it seems. And the sooner people get this in their heads. They'll get it. You'll get the it. The girls that get it, get, get it. it. And the, the girls, girls that don't, don't. don't. Right, who would be, say it will shut out, who is the girl that you're least close with off of your season? And I'm not talking like Castro or more girls. I'm talking like from the main cast. Oh, I think I might shot this, you know. <laughs> I think I'm going to shot this one. I mean, who do you think it is? Where are you going to go? I'm going to say, I think it's Gemma. Purely because I think most of the cast, the cast, it's not a film. Well, no, it is a cast, isn't it? Yeah. Most of the cast aren't really associated with Gemma and Luca anymore. That's my, that's my 50 cents, isn't it? 50 cents. Oh, yeah. Right, cheers. <laughs> Let's get the tea. <laughs> so, um... Uh, so obviously I know that you got given outfits first of all for the like for most things because it's eBay isn't it sponsored by eBay yeah. were there any outfits you wore which you fucking hated um my Pamela Anderson one with a blonde wig oh Come really on. <laughs> are you having me on yeah no and I didn't realize sexy challenge by the way and everything like that no music you had to do that we got music. Oh, you did? But they tell you the music as soon as you start walking. Like, that's the first time you hear it. You don't get to practice. You don't get to rehearse. Did you not sit in the bedroom? Were you like... Because I'd have yeah. to, in the mirror, be like, yeah, yeah, I'd look like a stiff cock. Like, it would not nah, run. Babe, it wouldn't run. Like, I was giving it big in the bedroom. The girls kept putting their drinks down. I just kept necking them. I was like, <laughs> I ain't going out there. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Being sober. You did well, though. No. No, seriously, compared to compared to some of the boys. Oh, the, yeah, compared like, to the boys, the boys were a load of shite. They were a load of Let's shit. be fair, like, that was not hot. But the girls definitely pulled out of the bag, but no, I hated my outfit. I agree. Wait, I hated it. was that the Pamela Anderson one? Yeah. I can't remember what that was. And that was my was. second choice. The first one oh. was even worse. Let me tell you, when I went in that beach chat, I went, I'm not fucking going to have that. What was I'm it? I'm not wearing that. It was like this sailor outfit. No. And it was like shoulder pads. It was sequins. You know that marshmallow guy from Ghostbusters? That, no. That big fat thing. You're joking. That's they put what you it in that. Like. And I was like, I'm honestly, I was like, I will walk now. I, I thought like, you had it. loads of costumes and you got no. to be like that one. No, they just give them to you. Yeah, no, I'd quit. And do you think the heart rates were real? Because I, I think a lot know. of them did it to just cause shit. Do you reckon? Yeah, 100%. I don't know, see, because I popped off at Jack's that, didn't I? Because his heart rate. No, that's rate true. I feel like that's true. Yeah. And I was just like, at the time, Bitch. I mean, it's fine now. It is what it is now. No, I thought his heart rate. I forgot. Right, sorry. I completely forgot this whole thing about the. Et right, fine. Yeah. Fine. Okay, fine. So maybe they are that. orchestrated, maybe they're not. But I went to him and I was like, is it legit? Yeah. They were like, yes, legit. And I was like, mm. Horace. Like if you say so. What do I know? What a shit. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Worst challenge. Worst challenge. Apart from the sexy dance one. Apart from the sexy dance one. one. What was oh, the mermaid challenge? What was that? Oh, that was horrific. The mermaid challenge. Yeah, you know when we have to come up, the girls had to like come out this clam thing and do a dance on <gasps> a pole. Oh, oh my god. Kill me. Danica comes out, yeah, gives course, it ten course, out of ten. Of course, yeah, yeah. Thank you. How And yeah. they were like, Paige, you're next. I was meant to follow that. I said, nah. No. Because I picked someone else. I said, I'm not going. And I literally stood there and they were like, no, it's you. And I was like. No, it's not. No, yeah. I, I hands down agree. Was that what she came out to as well? Like yeah. when she came into that the villa? Yeah, that one take off the bat. Like that, I was like. One take? Yeah. Does it usually take a few more takes? No, we get one take at it all. That was, that's it. That's it. So. Gotta go. Could never be on that program. I promise no, you. it's Do you know what my worst one would have been? What? Apart from the sexy dance and the talent show, everything. The one where you guys were on the plane and you had to go down the slide and had to stand on that bouncy thing. I would have died. Yeah, but Genuinely, I would have died. Do you know what it is, right? Once you do a sexy dance once, aren't they all the same? So why are we keeping doing sexy, yeah. sexy stuff? You'd think do they'd be like, fun. yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Who can, who can hopscotch 
fast. <laughs> That's what I'd want to watch. I don't yeah. give a shit because it's it's cringe to watch. It's not only cringe to do; it's cringe, cringe to like to watch. Sit like the sexy dance challenge. We were all in my flat just screaming, like hiding, because the thought of us doing that, we were just all like, "Oh my god!" So the thought of even doing it would make me die. No, stop! I would die. My vagina curled up into a ball of like dryness when I heard what we were yeah, doing. But the boys like, are going oh. getting into it. The boys are like, yeah, she fuck it. I'm like, God, have you never seen a pussy flap before? Like what is <laughs> actually going on? An areola, there's nothing there Literally. that you haven't seen. Literally, just the immaturity of them in there. Would you do a strip tease to a boyfriend that you had? Mm, yeah. You're a better woman than me. Well, you've never done a strip tease. Oh. Did you just say that to me? To me, I'm a lights off, top on kind of girl. Lay oh, yeah. there flat. No, you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. When I go on top, I time three minutes and <laughs> then get back off. <laughs> well, you're a better woman because you... I last a whole one minute on top because <laughs> my thighs are burning. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Like, that's a workout. This I hell. don't work out, babe. Truly, like I don't either. Like Maybe I'll take it. No, I won't because my boyfriend would laugh at me. If I came in like a sexy sailor, like, you've been a really bad sailor, he'd be like, what the fuck oh, are you doing? The I don't I feel like Bristolian sailor. Sailor, I don't know. <laughs> I think that De Serrano's gone to my head. No accents. Yeah, give me a di- Yeah, oh no, okay, fine. No accents. Um, a bit of role play. Do you know what's always good? Let's role play. All right. Okay. okay. I'm a man. You're a man. And that's not hard to believe, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm a man. No, it is. She's stunned. Come yeah. on, give yourself Thank some credit. You. All right, I'm laying um, here. Go on. You're lying there. Yeah. So it's going to be like, I'm going to set the mood, right? Okay, you're up, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't. Okay, sorry. sorry. I can't. Gandhi's flip flop down there. I can't. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, focus All right. now, right? Okay. Okay, lights down low. Yep. We're going to play some sexy music, like something from 365 Days. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Oh, stop. I'm in my feels already. Yeah. And we'll have the guy sat in a chair. Okay. I'm I have, sat. Like, I'm sat. I'm babe. sat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then I'll do something like sexy where we'll have like a cute little like all in one on right crotchless oh heels right. and you're just giving the lap dance of your life and okay then, what do you do if you have no ass or is that not an issue for you because <laughs> that's an issue for me that's what we have to go around here Paige. <laughs> what if you that don't know i that? have an inverted ass no. so <laughs> what what am i gonna do dry hump him frontwards because we can't go backwards what about boobs can you use your boobs yeah, I mean, I've got little mosquito bites, so I, should, I could wave them in his face, <laughs> give them a little suck. I don't know what he wants to do with them. Okay, fine, we'll work with boobs. Let's work go with boobs. Boob. If you've got no bum, make the boobs work. Okay, f- okay, fine. And then if that doesn't work, slap them all in out. his face. <laughs> don't know what I just, just did there. Out. Yeah, knock <laughs> him out. <laughs> cool, Paige. I've knocked him out. <laughs> you need to give him no, resus. No, I'm actually crying. Right, sorry. No, I'm actually crying for this. <laughs> so I give him the boobs and then what? That's it? <laughs> well, no, you'll be like sat astral in him. Ooh. So you're like, you know. Okay. I, I don't know how. Like, I'm sweating. Are you? Like, yeah. You know, and like, what, what, right. Right. Curious question. Okay, fine. What do you call your vagina? Funny. If you're trying to be sexy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Funny. Um, <laughs> I'd say you want this. You want this pum pum. You want this big juicy pum. That's what I'd say. No, you don't. I wouldn't. I'd say. Do you want to quickly have sex? Your parents are home in a minute. That's what I'd say. Oh my god. Okay, what do you say, pussy? You say you're a pussy girl, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a pussy. Oh yeah, I know it. My, no, you want this puss? That wasn't your accent. Sorry. No. That right. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually just avoid the word. Yeah, I agree. You it's, can't call it. What are you going to call it? Snatch? It's just not... <laughs> you can't say anything. It's just not sexy. It's not it? at all. It's not. I wonder what so, everyone calls that. So I'm not calling it anything. I'm just going to go, you want it's this? always... Oh, oh, go, no, go on. It's always... You want to slip it in nice and tight between my... <laughs> <laughs> You want to slip it in nice and tight between Guys, my legs? Guys, I had a disarano, okay? Nah, to be fair, you're a better woman than me. I'll just give my boyfriend to you because I'm just not going to deal with that. He's going to have to have like a flashlight or something <laughs> while listening to this audio because it's not happening. No. We're going to have to end it there. But I ask every guest, yeah. the saving grace, uh-huh. blah, blah, blah. What? Sorry, I just worded that. You know, it's a shit podcast. No. It's what not. advice would you give me in life? So if you had one bit of advice to give me, what would it be to end on? 
Men are trash. Fuck them all. Yeah, that's actually a beautiful bit. Fine. <laughs> I'm and on a real note, <laughs> all men are trash. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, to be real. No, I'm joking. Some of them are nice, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they just not make themselves apparent. I agree. Um, general advice probably be. Do what makes you happy. I don't give a shit for anyone else. And do a lap dance every once and a, once and again. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thank yeah. you for watching. And if you've been watching, said it twice, give it a like and subscribe. And if you've been listening, give it a five-star rating <laughs> and a follow. Bye. See ya.